Hello, boys and girls. I'm here to show you something you can eat with your ice cream and candy. It's the chocolate naga brain. <laughs> it's time for some pepper tripping. Let's roll! Everybody, this is Bishop Brad coming to you on another episode of Pepper Trippin'. Coming to y'all on a pod that I'm very scared to do. Mr. Matt Adams sent me this big, humongous chocolate. Not, I mean, look how big this thing is, dude. This thing is bad. This is a big chocolate naga brain of love. Now, what we're going to do is just go on a fascinating trip, a journey of love, and find out what the chocolate naga brain does to our brains, our gut, and our body. Are y'all ready to rock and roll? I'm ready to see what this thing looks like on the inside. Here's your pictures, cut large. All right, everybody, are y'all ready for the chocolate naga brain? Good Lord, this thing was oily on the inside, man. This is going to be a lot of pepper to put down. Here we row. Floral pepper. Mmm. 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 Floral, floral, floral. Floral capsaicin floral. Mmm. Mmm. Hard job to do. Whiskey chest. <sighs> Hold on, I'm climbing that well. Tongue, lips, throat. Oh, try not to barf. Floral peppers, man. Mm. 
Boys and girls, it tastes like cotton candy. I'm just kidding. It's stuck in my throat chest, man. Oh, that was so much pepper. I feel like I want to rip my chest out. Calm down. With a chocolate naga brain. I don't think I've ever had a chocolate naga. Calm down. Take a deep breath. I know y'all want me to barf. But on this side of the camera, it's a terrible situation. Blurry vision. All these floral peppers. I don't like them. No. I can't talk. I can't talk. Very d nasty. Very mean. You gotta ride this night. Get out. It needs to get out of my chest. Now here's what I'm learning about the chocolate naga. Even for that being a lot of pepper. Very intense rush of pain. Bold, rich flavor. Floral as can be. But it's letting off the petal. It's leaving me with a residue of catching my breath. The burning sensation in my chest. And here. Here I come to save the day, <laughs> but a very strong endorphin rush. I'm ever Golly, that is fire coming out right now. Uh, nasty burps. Profound burps. Pepper burps. Fire burps. The Naga brain is an intense... No joke. Extreme pot of pain. 
but let's off the gas. I wouldn't say quickly, but you're going to ride a pain that is undescribable unless you eat one. It leaves you with a, a tongue burn and a lip burn and a tad burn in the back. It's leaving me with a, a whiskey chest that I've never had before. It feels like a coal stuck in my chest. Rebel Haze! I'm gonna break my spine! Oh lord, that shit's making me sing some Jimi Hendrix, boy. I can see your souls. Do you see mine? I can see yours. I needed that. I had a pretty not good day at work today. Glad that it's done. One of those days where you just want to have a couple beers and call it quits and the day's gone. But this Naga brain was worth the pain. It's brought me back to trip again. In the rain, it's so insane. It brings me back to memory lane. I was a poet and I didn't know it. Just like Jim Morrison, I can surely show it. Oh, Lord, man! Man! Yeah! Dude, I hope my neighbors hear me. If they only knew they had Bishop Brad as their neighbor. Hey, Bobby! Dog's dog, the neighbor's dog is out. Hey, Bobby! That dog looked at me and turned back around. Dude, I've got to go do some severe, some, some preparation. That was a lot of pepper. You got to do that preparation, man, or you're, you're going to be in some intense pain. This is Bishop Brad, baby, on another episode of Pepper Tripping. I want to thank Matt Adams for that scary, painful... Naga brain. Chocolate Naga brain. I'll never do one of them again. It's already been done. Much love, man. I love all of y'all for tuning in and viewing. Y'all be sure y'all share this. Y'all be sure you come to my channel and subscribe. I'm going to see y'all, baby, on the next episode. Y'all have a good one. Much love. Bye-bye.